All right, so first things first, we're gonna get this water. All right, so let's drink this water. Really good. It's almost nighttime, so I'm probably just gonna build a lean-to. All right, looks like I can already build it. I'll just build it here, it doesn't really matter. What time do you sleep at? Oh, I can sleep right now. I should wait till it's actually dark though. I'm gonna get some resources real quick and then go to sleep. And then make our way towards the oak tree. Oh, oh wait. I didn't even know this was here. I was a fool to have ever doubted myself. A fool like Klein, like Kaminsky, like Schmechter, like all of Ominent. I am here in the backyard. Down in the backyard. I mean, I am speaking to you from the backyard. I am tiny! I should gather my thoughts. This is a momentous occasion. Wendell Tolley official log, 89.08.05. Recording as I take my first steps into the miniature world. The sights are unbelievable. The textures, the, the way the light falls upon every surface, the subtle patterns in all of the objects that surround me, the grass. Even common lawn grass looks like a structure from an alien world. Wait, what's that sound? The very earth is trembling. Over there, what could it be? An ant! My God, today, the world has changed forever. Huh. Okay, it's getting a little dark. I think now it's the time to sleep. You now I think about it. <clears throat> Being tiny, like this size that they are, it doesn't sound that great because you'd have more predators because you're tiny. But you would also use less resources. You'd have more, if you were this tiny, you'd have more fresh water, more resources, like food, food cholesterol. You have like, um, Maybe not food. Well, I guess, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna start making my way towards the tree. <coughs> but you could have um, people who stay large and then they can leave food for the smaller people. You'd use less food and resources that way. But then the predators too. But you could just dig into like a rock or something. But yeah, you could just have the bigger people who are regular sized make like a little area where um, like a bug proof area. Or you could shrink everything else too. Like obviously you wanna be able to shrink everything. But you could shrink cattle so the smaller humans could eat those food that instead of having the larger people but you would have more food if you just left the cattle bigger okay i think can you build on lily pads i think i remember doing that before that's probably the safest thing i can do <clears throat> Let's see. What was that sound? Oh wait, is it the water dudes? Just like brown things? Oh, that is a koi fish. They don't come up to the surface, right? Hopefully he can't destroy this. Do I already have a hammer? I don't see any hammer. I'll just make the hammer. Get ourselves some acorns to make some armor. Is this not? Oh, I wasn't close enough. Okay, that bee scared me. I saw a giant shadow. I thought it was like a mosquito or something. But mosquitoes are skinnier. I've never killed a bee in this game before. I know they were in the game when I played it. And I found bee armor before. I remember being like, like an anthill or something and there was bee armor that I found. 
So I'm assuming I can... Uh, I can kill bees to make armor out of them. I don't remember what it's for though. How good are acorn bits? I remember those being real- Ah, uh, no. Do they give the same amount as the mushroom? I think they do. I remember acorn bits were like the best thing ever. It only took like two or three to fill up your hunger. I could probably make a shovel now. I think you need acorn for it. The spiders are in here, right? Yeah. Damn. Okay, I'll get this like last last two acorns and I'll go into the lab. Oh, I'm thirsty too. Oh, the juice box. There's normally like one or two drops here. Oh, what the hell? They can fall to their death? I didn't know that. I've never seen that before. Nice. Wow, that was really good. So this is different. This wasn't here before. There was like a little platform with a little puzzle. Oh, right here. This is normally in the locked area over there. That locked room. Well, I have a lot of stuff to research. I'll do the acorns first to get the armor. Oh, and a chest. Oh, the grinder. I've never made that before. What should I do next? I'll do the top. I think this is the sap collector. Yeah. Smoothie station, spinning wheel. The spinning wheel is really useful. Garden patch. I wonder if you can grow anything other than mushrooms there. Hmm. The larva spike. I think you get a weapon. Larva blade. How good is that? It does poison damage. That doesn't sound that bad, but I don't think I could survive long enough for that poison to do anything meaningful, though. What about the little robot? Did they remove him? The little Tazy T, whatever they're called? Oh, there is water here. Is this infinite? I probably shouldn't be doing this. Probably shouldn't be wasting it. Unauthorized access. Let's get you back in action. Get up, buddy. System reboot in progress. Thanks for the helping hand. I am Burgle, acting science manager for this project. I am also a robot. If anything, whoa! I just realized her head's missing. Oh my a god! Power surge what the hell? A massive raw science containment explosion. This lab, as you can see, is a disaster. I know they do that when you're in first person, but they normally put it back when you exit first person. Explosion has disrupted my computing power. And okay, I'm probably cutting all this out. You likely already know all of this. If you're watching this, this has been out for a while. Memory fault. Cook I am sorry again. It appears I have sustained more damage to my memory chips than expected. I think I've sustained damage to my head. It's literally gone. Without those memories, I do not know how to repair the spacer. My head is still gone. What is this? I'm pretty sure my head's supposed to be there when it zooms out. Oh, there it was for a second. What is that? Are those, what are those materials? Is that stone? What is that? I guess that's a new material I haven't discovered yet. Oh, 
A whetstone. It looks like all of this is just craftable from stone, maybe? Oh no, I don't know where any of this is. Brittle quartz. Brittle, I've never seen marble. I've seen quartz before though. I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do is make that little club made out of the thristle, whatever it's called. Out of that, I can't chop this right. No, I remember these used to be infinite. Yeah, like, yeah, like these little leaves, they had them. You can just hit the leaves and get infinite uh, needles. Looks like they changed that though. I'm gonna collect some more fiber to make the rope and then we can have our armor, the acorn armor. Hopefully I don't need any more, but um, yeah, I'm gonna make the acorn armor and then make my way towards an ant hill and kill some soldier ants. That's the plan anyway. I could run into problems. Craft and equip. Clover leaf. There's clovers over here, right? yeah. It's a forest of clovers. So I should be fully equipped now, right? Yeah. Oh wait, what, are the, what bonus does this give? Heavy armor, substantial stamina increase required to swing heavy weapons. Oh, that doesn't, that's not a benefit. Major threat. Increases enemy desire to attack you? What? Uncrackable. You're a tough nut to crack and hard to stun. I guess that's good. 